I'm Tyler with Duluth Junction Workshop. This is my 2001 Honda Insight 5 speed. Today I'm going to show you how to make a grill block for it with a budget of zero dollars. There are three main reasons you want a grill block on your car. The first is that your car will warm up much faster and therefore you'll get heat in your car earlier and be more comfortable on your drive. The second is that the warmer air in your engine bay will allow the incoming air to be less dense allowing your car to burn less fuel and get higher fuel economy. The third is actually the most important. A lot of people think that weight is super important with your car's fuel economy, but unless you're in a city center and accelerating and decelerating constantly in a city setting, the aerodynamics are way more important. Now, what we have here is a, a grill is basically a hole in the front of your car, and it's not just the hole that causes drag, it's the fact that the air comes through, it tumbles through your radiator, it hits your engine block, your suspension, your axles, and then it hits your firewall and is shoved under the car. So the less air we can get going in the engine bay and more we can get going around the smooth sides, the better it's going to be. I learned about grill blocks and how to make them through the ecomodder.com forums years ago and in a project that I'll post up here. Now I'm hoping that the Honda Insight here will react a little bit better than most cars because it does have a lean burn mode where if it detects a lower throttle setting, it'll um, go to a very lean air fuel ratio and that helps your, um, your overall MPG average a lot. Let's start with the requisite materials. We have a big piece of paper and some tape, uh, scissors, permanent marker, and a sharp blade along with some zip ties. I use black because they're UV resistant. We also have a couple different types of plastic to use for your grill block. We have the um, single width from an auto parts store to use as signage and we might use that today. The other option you can use is some Coroplast, which is short for corrugated plastic. This is what they use for campaign signs and a lot of event posters. This one is actually for a beer festival. Let's get started. I've got my paper taped together. Now I'm going to actually hold it inside the grill and push against the edges. And that'll help me uh, determine what the general size is. I'm actually going to use the pen as well. That's about there, goes around, let me go up. I'm going to cut out uh, close to that, give a lot of room for error, and I'm going to try it in again. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be pretty close, and it looks like I am pretty close. And then we'll take the optional extra step of transferring on to cardboard for our kind of prototype. I got it roughly cut, and again, you want to give a little bit extra space so you can cut it down later. If you need to cut a consistent strip off, you can use your uh, one finger to guide your uh, pen and then put your pen on and just rolling your finger along there. That'll give you a nice, nice consistent line to work off of. I've got my template, so I round off the corners a little bit and I'm going to transfer it out of the plastic. And this will be kind of a prototype because I haven't worked with this uh, specific plastic sheeting before. I don't know how it's going to um, respond. You know, you might know this already, but if you're just starting out and, and haven't used these tools a lot before, make sure your fingers are never in the way of the blade. Keep them off to the side so if you slip, it doesn't hit you. Helps to do a score line and then another later, whether you're doing uh, this or Coroplast. All right, here's the prototype. I'm gonna just hold that up real quick. It's pretty good. The next step is to make sure your car has adequate cooling. And if you're in a hot climate, if you're down south, you want to make sure that you do a partial grill block at most. Um, cars generally are designed to uh, work really hard in the middle of the desert um, all day long, but you don't want to push it too hard if you run that electric fan too much or um, have any kind of overheating problems. It's not good for your car. So don't go uh, with a full grill block if you're not in the middle of the winter. Um, but I'm going to take a look in here and see if there's anything that I want to keep track of. Okay. 
Up front we have an air conditioning condenser that's pretty big actually. And then the radiator is behind that. So I want to make sure that my radiator, which is on the driver's side of the car, is being um, opened up and that the air conditioning condenser isn't as big of a deal, especially in the winter. I don't mind if that's done, but it's about to be negative degrees Fahrenheit outside and I want to make sure that this is going to run optimally um, if I need to go anywhere. So since I have my radiator on this side and I have some ugly writing on this side, I'm going to actually cut that writing off and we'll use that as the, as the guide. I'm not a um, certified mechanic or anything like that. I just did this for fun. So, you know, be, be responsible. So I've got that coming in there. It kind of, kind of wedges in, which is kind of nice. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got a new angle. <laughs> Make sure you shove yours in all the way when you, when you uh, try this out. Now we're seeing a, another issue here. I have to bring that up like that um, because of the curvature of the grill. One trick is you can actually take a piece of your material and uh, curve that around. That'll give you a nice gentle curve. So I'll go about halfway. So now what we want to do is mark out the Places for the zip ties. Now we have an upright here. We have an upright um, here. Here's your last chance to make final adjustments if you need to. I'm just gonna send it. Okay, it's about negative four Fahrenheit, negative 20 Celsius today. So I'm going to show you how fast this thing warms up. Come on. Mileage is 327.7. 1.8 miles I think it was. This thing started warming up so that's pretty good actually. I'm really surprised. It's way, it's better now at negative four than it has been at you know 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I got a couple miles under the wheels and the car heated up really fast. It got nice heat um, and I'm pretty satisfied. The fitment could use a little uh, tweaking but I might do another one later in the year. Remember if you're trying to save gas, hypermelling is great, aero mods help a lot but you know get out there, get on a bike, uh, take a bus, walk if you can because the best way to save gas is not to drive at all. Press on.